Hey guys, Evan Green from Griffin Armament here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Griffin Armament Tabor Mount Silencer Mount Interface. Uh, we've been manufacturing this mount now for 10 years. It's a prolific uh, muzzle device system in the commercial market and here in the United States in the suppressor industry. And, um, you know, we originally created it out of a desire to provide people with a very accurate and robust mounting system that lent itself to uh, the design flexibility of offering people different options that they would want, whether it's flash hiders, muzzle brakes, compensators, et cetera. And so the, the uh, platform has ver changed very little over the years, uh, but we have a lot of different accessories now available. But to just quickly touch on the features, this muzzle device features a inch 20 thread in front of a taper. The thread offers the attachment to the silencer and the taper offers the precision alignment to the suppressor. The suppressor is then uh, fitted with a taper and a thread interface as well so that the two can be used in unison. So that is the features of the tear mount system and next we will get to talking about the accessories and installation. So to discuss installation of your tear mount muzzle device, I'm going to start by talking about the different type of torque drivers. Uh, we have the uh, locking and unlocking uh, style uh, here that's selectable. And then we also have the uh, needle type where you apply the torque until your needle hits the proper uh, number value. Uh, today, we're gonna be using the needle type. That's just what I like, but um, both of them are fine. Uh, if you are looking at a Griffin Armament muzzle device and you don't wanna time it, you don't even wanna deal with the installation, you just kinda wanna just slap it on there and start shooting. We actually do offer two devices for that. Uh, the Griffin Easy Brake, which is a nice minimalist uh, brake that you can use, and then also the uh, minimalist flash hider. Uh, so those two options do not require timing at all, and they support a variety of calibers and, fred, and, and thread pitches for pretty much any firearm out there, okay? But to get to uh, installing one of these on a firearm, if you were to do that, uh, any of those other models, I've got a Griffin Mark I upper here in front of me, and you're gonna wanna start with prepping your threads and that means brushing them off any loose debris. Uh, you'd also wanna hit them with a degreaser, something like that, just to make sure that they're really nice and clean, okay? After you've, uh, after you've done that, and you've ensured that you like the thread quality that you're looking at, that you have nice clean threads, then you're going to use uh, shims. Shims are little pieces of stamped steel that basically go under your muzzle device and they allow the muzzle device to be properly oriented in a specific, uh, you know, rotate, uh, rotation, okay? So with this muzzle device, we already figured out how many shims we needed. Okay, there's a thick shim, there's thick shims and thin shims provided so that you can get, you know, just the right amount of a clocking that you want, okay? And you may have to take your muzzle device on and off a couple times to actually get that orientation right. But on Griffin mu muzzle devices that have a uh, little Griffin logo laser on them. That is going, you're gonna to wanna to position that at the six o'clock or the bottom of the firearm. And with an Air 15, that would be the magazine side. So that is where we want that logo positioned when we are finally installed. Okay, that's gonna place the, all the directional orientation of the muzzle device performance geometry in the proper areas of the muzzle device. So it is important that you actually clock these correctly. Okay, so for this one, we're, we already threw the shims on there. I'm gonna grab a wrench and then just tighten this thing in to 30 to 35 foot pounds, ensuring that that logo is in the proper orientation when I hit my torque value. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, if you're doing a 5 ace 24 thread or larger, you're gonna want 45 foot pounds. And if you're doing a half by 28 thread like this, or like a nine millimeter uh, half by 28, you're gonna want 35 foot pounds. So that covers installation. All right, so I'm gonna take a couple minutes to just briefly cover installing the suppressor and checking alignment. So with your suppressor, you're just gonna to wanna to thread it over your threads. When it hits the taper, you'll kind of feel it get a little bit more rigid. Uh, from there, just firmly twist the suppressor. That'll make sure it's got torque biasing it onto the taper for that alignment and that installation. Uh, in this configuration, you're good to shoot as long as you'd like. Um, full auto, whatever. Just allow the suppressor to cool to ambient temperature before you remove it, okay? Now, if you're installing it for the first time, you're going to want to check uh, your bore alignment. And you can do that pretty easily visually just by clearing your firearm 
in accordance with your end user manual, making sure that it's in a safe condition. And then from there, you can literally just look down the bore uh, with an illuminated back surface. I'm using our studio lights. But you can just see that the bore is in the center. The bore of the barrel is in the center of the bore of the silencer, okay? And you can move your eye around like you would in the eye box of a scope to get into the center of the bore to visually check that it's aligned. And this is a very easy thing to do. Um, it only takes a, a, a few seconds. But if you are feeling uncomfortable with that and you wanna have a professional assist you with it, uh, we would recommend that you go visit your Griffin Armament dealer. Uh, a lot of them provide very high quality gunsmithing services and can not only install your muzzle device, but also confirm alignment for you. So that is mounting the suppressor and confirming alignment. The Griffin Tabor Mount system is a very simple system, so thankfully maintenance and troubleshooting is, is very easy. And we're gonna talk about that in the next couple of minutes. So when you're done shooting your suppressor, you just wanna make sure that you brush and clean the internal uh, mounting system of the suppressor, as well as the external surfaces, essentially the mating surfaces of the system. Okay, and to do that, you can take a you know, brush to the threads and clean the threads, clean the taper, uh, you could put your muzzle device in an ultrasonic cleaner if you wanted to. You could put it in a blasting booth if you wanted to to blast carbon and copper off of it. You can pretty much use, it's 17.4 stainless steel, so it's very you know, high quality material. You can clean it with whatever method you prefer. Um, for the silencer itself or your, or your interfacing plan A mount or whatever you're mounting this uh, tabor mount to, you're gonna wanna get an Odie's brush. We sell them on our website, but you can also purchase them probably locally at your hardware store. But if you go in there with a one inch brush and thoroughly clean that and remove all the debris from carbon, and then you're gonna to wanna to chase it with a towel to clean that, to clean that interface. You wanna make sure that your interface is cleaned every time you know, that you're coming back from the range. Obviously you wanna maintain your kit. So that is how you maintain a system, it's very simple. Uh, if you do happen to ever get a Griffin muzzle device stuck in the silencer for whatever reason, um, we do actually have a provision for that. We have a slotted milled provision for that in the rear of the silencer. Now, you know, don't get worried. Only 1% or, or less of, of Griffin end users will ever have this problem. Um, this problem is only really evident when you do not, you know, install the muzzle device to its appropriate torque. So again, those torque ratings are 35 foot pounds for a half inch thread and 45 foot pounds or more for a 5 eighths thread or larger. So if you under torque your, your muzzle device on install, then you might get it stuck in the body. And for that, we, we mill this provision. And then there's also a tool that interfaces with that slot. And the, the tool is very easy to work with because you can fixture it into a vise and then very easily get your muzzle device out of the silencer. So even if that were to happen to you, uh, don't worry, we have tools and accessories for that as well. Um, now we're gonna get into our accessories video to show you all the host of options that Griffin Iron has invested itself into with the Tear Mount series. So by now, hopefully you have a really good understanding of your Tabor Mount system, and we can actually get to the fun part, which is checking out all the different parts and accessories that this system actually interfaces with. Um, so first, firstly, I'm gonna go over our muzzle device line, which is pretty extensive. Uh, for information on thread pitches and specific caliber options and things like that, uh, go to our website, griffinarmament.com. Uh, all that information is there. I'm just gonna be showing you the different features and subsets of these products. So firstly, we have our uh, minimalist Tabor Mount flash hider. Uh, this actually supports the 14 by one left hand AK, which is nice. It's the only muzzle device that does that. Uh, but it is a really nice high performance flash hider, uh, no resonance and 17.4 stainless steel like everything else that we do. Um, so very high quality as well. Uh, secondly, we're gonna have our two piece uh, Tabor Mount tactical compensator. This is a pretty cool device because it actually is two pieces and it's welded um, on a robotic welder. So it's really cool um, for not only flash, but also uh, low concussion. So there's that. Uh, our two port Paladin muzzle brake. This is a uh, muzzle device that's gonna really do well to support the precision rifle shooter uh, for a very flat, very uh, recoil reduced muzzle. That's gonna be the option for him. And we actually do this in a 6.5 Creedmoor version as well. Moving on, the uh, Tabor Mount linear comp. This is pretty interesting. Um, we're the only silencer company, I believe still 
uh, doing a linear uh, compensator for a tear mount or, or for a silencer mount in general. Um, but this is also a two-piece welded device and it's pre-drilled for pinning. Some of our devices are pre-drilled for pinning, some of them are not. Again, refer to our website for information on specific products. Uh, this is our tear mount flash comp. This is, I believe, the fourth or fifth generation of our flash comp. It's uh, Griffin Arndt, a uh, long time product and it's got the most current uh, revisions to it. It's actually le less flash than all of the current versions uh, before it. So it was a legitimate increase in performance, uh, which was really nice. And this is available in a, a variety of calibers as well. Um, moving on, the Hammer Comp is a basically shorter version of the Flash Comp. So it's gonna give you a lot of those same uh, character attributes, but a little bit lighter weight, a little bit shorter. And then we have, lastly, uh, the Easy Brake, or not lastly, but second to last, the Easy Brake. This is a non-timeable brake, which is really cool. And it supports everything in the product line, all the way up to 46 caliber. So anybody that wants to have just a really nice, low cost, very easy to install uh, product for all their Tamron applications, this would definitely be something to look at. And we have our minimalist brake, which was pretty much the muzzle device that we started in, in a short version. Uh, and then we ended up going with the easy brake as well. This one does give you uh, vertical compensation ports though. So you, you get directional uh, recoil reduction out of that. Um, further, we have a couple different interfaces. Uh, this is our Tabor mount uh, minimalist blast shield. This is gonna allow you to reduce the size of your Optimus for instance or just have a nice tear around blast shield uh, in a minimalist variety if you want it. And there's a corresponding thread protector also for that. Um, in terms of suppressor interfaces, this is our plan A. This is a 1.375 by 24 inch threaded product. So it is gonna outfit all of those silencers out there in the marketplace that are kind of going towards that thread pitch as well as our Bushwhacker at Griffin Armament, our Bushwhacker 46. So that is an option. And then we also have an XL version of that, uh, or extra long, to where you can use this uh, interface and then be able to support the entire Griffin product line uh, with whatever manufacturer's silencer you have. So this gives you extended length and more clearance to that blast baffle so that you can interface the entire Griffin product line. So that's nice. Uh, also, we have a thread protector. This is actually made from 775 aluminum and it's hard-coded anodized, so it's a nice lightweight part. It doesn't really add much system weight uh, to the firearm. And if you if you want that, you can run it. I personally don't run thread protectors on my stuff, um, but I, I keep you know my, my gear in good condition. But that's pretty much everything for the Tabor mount uh, accessories. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something. If you guys have any other questions at all, feel free to hit up our customer service line. Uh, they're available Monday through Friday, nine to five. Also hit us up via email, info at or tech at griffinaro.com. Also, make sure to subscribe to us on social, Instagram, Facebook, um, subscribe to our newsletter. And if you want a, a really in-depth uh, version of this, uh, we actually hit it on our podcast that Sam uh, produces, and that is episode 20 on the Dwell Time podcast if you want to check out our in-depth discussion on the Tabor Mount system. So thank you for watching this video, and we appreciate your business.